your boundaries. What are you willing to give up? What are you, more importantly, not willing to give up? Today, we're just gonna talk about when you should give up on a dream. Now, you might be saying, Damon, no, my dream is my dream. That's why it's my dream. I'm gonna keep going until I fulfill it. As someone who's actually fulfilled, particularly career-wise, sometimes you get to the end of a dream and you realize it's not really your fit anymore. The first instance of this is when it is destroying you or the people around you. If you're ambitious like myself, you go to no ends to get to where you need to be. I could share some stories where I hustled like crazy. Sometimes we can be so myopic, so focused on the particular dream, that particular goal, that we don't realize what's happening. What are your boundaries? What are you willing to give up? What are you, more importantly, not willing to give up? If you say that you're hustling for your family because you want your family to live well and for you to connect with your family, but then you're doing 20 hour days and you're feeling disconnected from your family and your family might literally leave because of that, then why are you really pursuing the dream? Because the people that you say you're doing it for are actually getting the short end of the stick. Giving up might be scaling it back. It might be finding another dream. It might be uh, retrofitting, as they say, what that big idea is into something that fits your life even more. The second time to give up on a dream, this sounds funny, when you fulfill the mission. When we had started Cuddler uh, that connected people for hugs. So it was an app similar to Tinder or Grindr, but it was strictly platonic. And we ended up selling it about a year after we started. For myself, as one of the co-founders, my main intention was to move the cultural needle. There was a space of hookup apps, you know, so people were just strictly trying to hook up. Then there was this epidemic. People, scientists called it an epidemic as far as loneliness. Part of the cure from that is physical touch, including having hugs. It made perfect sense for us to do it at the time. We had a quarter million users. We're on the cover of the Wall Street Journal. We're the number one app in the world twice within the year that we owned the app. And at a certain point, me and my co-founders looked at each other, we're like, oh, our work is done. We already changed the culture. We already hit that mark. So not only is it a matter of having a beautiful dream, it's also important to know when you actually reach that goal. <laughs> Otherwise, you're going to be unfulfilled. Number three, when you outgrow the dream or when the dream outgrows you. The dream outgrowing you can be tough because sometimes that means someone else beat you to the punch. Our dream was to accomplish that, was to make that impact on culture. But somebody else did it. You might need to let that go. But more crucially is the opposite of it, where you realize that you've outgrown the dream. That dream that you had 10 years ago, 20 years ago. So sometimes we end up growing, evolving beyond the scope of that dream that kept us warm for so many years. So I gave up on that dream of being a six-figure writer. What's funny about that is as soon as I gave that up, I started to notice all these other ways that I could be creative and make a good living, including being a TED speaking, a business coach, connecting with y'all through the Bring Your Worst show right now. As soon as I let go of that dream, then all these passive income streams and all these diverse things, including doing my startup cuddler, started coming through the door. And I ended up getting closer <laughs> to that six-figure goal that way. If you want to learn more, be sure and check out this episode next, knowing when to quit. So important and so essential.